Hey there, tech titans and AI aficionados. Welcome back to AI Masters, your one-stop shop for all things artificial intelligence. Today, we're diving down a rabbit hole that goes deeper than Elon Musk's pockets. We're talking about AI chips, the tiny brains behind the biggest tech revolution of our time. But there's a catch. We're facing a global shortage of these little buggers, and that's where a guy named Sam Altman waltzes in with a plan so audacious it would make James Bond blush. We're talking about a $7 trillion gamble to change the game. Buckle up, because this is one wild ride. Now, before we get sucked into the vortex of tech jargon, let's take a quick reality check. Remember those self-driving cars that look like they escaped from a sci-fi movie? The mind-blowing art generators that paint like Picasso on steroids? The chatbots that hold conversations that are almost, almost human? They all rely on something special, AI chips. These little slices of silicon are the brawn behind the AI brain, the engines that power the whole shebang. But here's the glitch in the matrix. We just don't have enough of them. The demand for AI chips is skyrocketing faster than a dough coin to the moon, and chip makers are struggling to keep up. It's like trying to fill the Grand Canyon with a teaspoon. It just ain't happening. That's where Sam Altman, the mastermind behind OpenAI, the company that brought us game changers like ChatGPT and Doe, jumps into the ring. This guy isn't afraid to dream big, like, really big. And his latest dream involves throwing a crazy amount of money. We're talking $7 trillion dollars at a problem that could hold the key to the future of AI. Now, I know what you're thinking. Seven trillion bucks? Is this guy nuts? Well, hold on to your hard drives, because Altman's plan isn't just about throwing money at a wall. He envisions a complete overhaul of the entire semiconductor industry, a revolution that would ramp up AI chip production to levels we've never seen before. Imagine a world where AI chips are as common as smartphones, a world where the potential of artificial intelligence can finally be unleashed. But let's be honest, folks, this ain't no walk in the park. This is a project so ambitious, it makes building a Dyson Sphere look like child's play. Where's all this money going to come from, you ask? Well, that's the multi-billion dollar question. Altman's looking to everyone from government honchos with bottomless pockets to fancy investment firms with a taste for risk. He's casting a net wider than a fisherman in a feeding frenzy, because let's face it, this is bigger than anything we've ever seen before. And speaking of challenges, let's not forget the 800-pound gorilla in the room, NVIDIA. This tech giant has a stranglehold on the AI chip market, and they ain't exactly known for sharing their sandbox. But Altman's no stranger to taking on Goliaths. This is the guy who has a history of backing disruptive startups and fostering innovation. Think of him as the maverick investor with a knack for sniffing out the next big thing. But NVIDIA? That's a different beast altogether. They have the resources, the experience, and frankly, a whole lot of powerful friends in the industry. So, how does Altman plan to topple this tech titan? Well, that's the million-dollar question, and trust me, analysts are having a field day dissecting his every move. Some experts believe Altman's strategy hinges on fostering competition. Imagine a world with a plethora of AI chip manufacturers, all vying for a piece of the pie. This kind of competition could drive down prices, accelerate innovation, and ultimately benefit everyone, from tech giants to everyday consumers like you and me. But here's the rub. Building a state-of-the-art chip fab, the factories that churn out these tiny marvels of engineering, is no easy feat It requires mountains of cash, cutting-edge technology, and a team of brilliant minds. So, how does Altman plan to convince companies to jump on board this multi-trillion dollar gamble? Well, that's where things get a little murky. Altman hasn't exactly laid out a detailed blueprint for his AI chip utopia. There are talks of government incentives, tax breaks, and partnerships with academic institutions. But some experts are skeptical. They point out the inherent risks involved in such a colossal undertaking. What happens if the technology takes an unexpected turn? What if consumer demand for AI products fizzles out? These are valid concerns, folks. $7 trillion is a lot of money to gamble on a technology that's still in its early stages. But hey, that's the beauty of audacious dreams, isn't it? They push boundaries, challenge the status quo, and force us to think outside the box. Altman's vision, crazy as it may seem, has the potential to revolutionize the world. Imagine a future powered by hyper-intelligent AI, a future where machines can solve complex problems, automate tedious tasks, and even create art that would leave da Vinci speechless. Sounds pretty darn exciting, right? Of course, there are also potential downsides to consider. With great power comes great responsibility, as Uncle Ben so wisely said. 
If AI chips fall into the wrong hands, well, let's just say the future might look more like a dystopian sci-fi flick than a utopia. But that's a conversation for another day. For now, let's raise a metaphorical glass to Sam Altman, the tech visionary with a plan so bold, it could change the course of history. Will his $7 trillion gamble pay off? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the future of AI is about to get a whole lot more interesting. Imagine a world where AI assistants can not only anticipate your needs but also predict them, suggesting restaurants before your stomach even growls or booking flights to dream destinations you never knew you craved. We're talking about a future where AI-powered robots can take on dangerous or mundane tasks, freeing us humans up to pursue our passions and explore the full potential of our creativity. But here's the wrinkle in this utopian vision, the ethical implications of such powerful technology. As AI chips become more sophisticated, so too does the potential for misuse. Imagine a world where AI-powered weapon systems can make decisions about life and death in milliseconds. Or a world where social media algorithms manipulate our emotions and control our behavior with laser-like precision. These are real concerns, folks, and they need to be addressed before Altman's silicon dreams become a reality. The good news is, we still have time to shape the future of AI. By fostering open dialogue, encouraging responsible development, and prioritizing ethical considerations, we can ensure that AI chips become a force for good in the world. Altman's $7 trillion gamble is a bold move, a moonshot in the truest sense of the word. Whether it succeeds or fails, one thing is certain, it's a conversation starter, a wake-up call to the immense potential and inherent risks of artificial intelligence. So, the next time you interact with your smartphone or witness the self-driving car revolution unfold on the streets, remember the tiny titans at the heart of it all, the AI chips. These little slices of silicon hold the key to a future brimming with possibilities. The question is, are we ready to unlock them? Hey there, AI enthusiasts, before you jettison out of here, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the AI Masters channel for more mind-blowing tech content. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of AI chips, do us a solid favor and share this video with your fellow tech junkies. Together, let's explore the frontiers of artificial intelligence and unlock the potential of this incredible technology. And hey, if you haven't already joined our growing community of tech enthusiasts, now's the perfect time to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll stay in the loop with all the latest AI insights, trends, and mind-blowing discoveries we uncover here at AI Masters. Until next time, stay curious, stay hungry for knowledge, and never stop questioning the future.